All right, bitches, we're back after just killing Zalbard, and we very nearly lost our no death playthrough too. That was actually rather, rather close. Uh, but Zalbard's dead. We rescued Matula. Now it's time to collect our spoils. Uh, Mithril. Okay, so there's only one more piece of Mithril in the game, and then we will have them all. And the Critical Sword. This is nice. This is actually a new weapon for Bowie. Ooh, its attack is 96 now, bro. Get at me. And here we go. Feel power returning me to human. Chase them away. Yes, we did. We actually killed them all. Bowie, oh, you're from Grand Seal. I don't know how the fuck you knew that, but yeah, that's us. Uh, probably since Zalbard arrived, I'm sure. Yeah, how do you know, Bowie? So, that means she knew about us even before our journey started, clearly. Faded to fight Xeon. It's an order from Volcano. Oh, okay. Okay, so this girl's gonna join us. She's a sorcerer, which is the same job as Kazen right now. Uh, I will replace Higgins with her. Wanna go to Grands, right? I think we should... I think we can use the ancient ship. Let's go to Nazca. Okay, yeah, they mentioned that's past Moon. So after talking to the storytellers, we gotta go get Freya, who has the key to Moon. We go through Moon, and then we'll reach Nazca. Uh, oh, no, not search, goddammit. Let's go take a look at Taya here. Level 11. Uh, she's only got 42 health, so... Bringing her along is a huge risk. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring her instead of Higgins, and I'm gonna give her the Protect Ring. Uh, some Power Water. That's nice. And Healing Seed. Okay. Healing Seed. We actually could make use of that, of that. Wait, let me make sure. Yep, that's everything on this side. Now we have to head over to the right side and go see the storytellers, bro. Okay, bam. Here we go. Ark Valley is a dark place where evil gathers. King of the Devils. Okay, it's obviously Xeon. We know that. Okay, here we go. Um, it's really important that I talk about this. Dark Soul, Dark Dragon, and Xeon fought desperately to obtain Ark Valley. Now, this is actually supposed to be the three Devil Kings. But Dark Soul and Xeon are two of the Devil Kings. The third Devil King is not Dark Dragon... In the original translation, it's actually meant to say Lucifer. So the three devil kings are Dark Soul, Lucifer, and Zeon. That is actually a really important fact, because they basically say in Shining Force 1 that Dark Dragon is created by the Ancients. He's a experimental weapon. Dark Dragon is not a devil king, and this actually like contradicts the plot of the game completely. Because that also wouldn't make sense why Dark Soul was trying to revive Dark Dragon. Because Dark Dragon is not a Devil King. It's Lucifer instead. It's what it should be. See, the fighting of the Devil Kings created a mighty storm. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Zeon won and he became the King of Devils. He has the biggest Devil Cock among them all. So, Dark Soul and Lucifer seal his powers inside the Jewel of Evil. Created a giant crater when he hit. His moan destroyed the mountains, and the crater was buried by the debris.
God of Wisdom created the Jewel of Light. Gave him a Holy Sword, which must be the Chaos Breaker. Uh, Dark Soul and Lucifer. And they were defeated. Okay. Great Evil sleeps inside. That would be Xeon. Power of Light will choose another. Obviously, that's Bowie. Believe us, we lie not. Attack the devil at his mouth with the Holy Sword. Okay. You would think this is talking about Xeon, but this is actually talking about something else. Uh, once we get to the point, I'll tell you what it is. This is basically explaining how to get to Xeon. It's a... Like, the path to Xeon later on in the game is blocked off. And this basically tells you how to get to Xeon. Attack the devil at his mouth with the holy sword. Okay. The problem is that they tell you that so far before we actually need to know that. Like, by the time we reach that area, that's like shit that would completely pass by the player's mind. Like, not even thinking about it anymore. Beautiful Matula. Okay. And, yep, we are good to get the fuck out of here. Salbard is dead, and on we go. On to the next one. Unfortunately, we can't get that chest over there. Goodbye, chest. We'll never see you again. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, no one's dead. No one's hurt or anything like that. Moon Gate has been closed. Yeah, Moon Gate. Yeah, that's where we're headed next. Well, actually, we're headed to Pakalon to get, uh... What's it called? Some devil steal your spirit... You become a vampire. Obviously, that's what happened to Higgins. Aha! Here we go. This is Screech. This is the baby bird we rescued back in Beedo. And he finally catches up to us and joins. He grew up pretty quick, actually. Yes, I'm Bowie. I'm um, Screech! You saved me! Oh yes, I remember. That was like two weeks ago, yet you're quite, uh, quite a bit bigger now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I learned how to fight. Yeah, that's just... Let's just sweep it under the rug. Yeah, I learned how to fight. Great answer, man. Way to completely ignore the question. That's like in Walking Dead, Daryl, expert tracker, and Rick is like, uh, the leaves are not fucked up, the grass is not bent, there's no tracks. How are you doing this right now? And Daryl's basically like, listen, do you want me to find this girl or do you want me to explain this to you? Basically, the producers of the show are giving you a nod and a wink like, yeah, this is ridiculous, we know, but just pretend it's not going on. Uh, so Screech. Um... Wow! Your defense is 38? Oh, man. I don't know. Screech and Taya, I might bring them along, but... Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, you saw a ship in the western sky. That's great for you, man. Is approaching Parmesia? Nah, that's not true. Yeah, you've got- yeah, yeah, chicken, you told me that before, goddammit. Uh, we don't need to head to the weapon shop. Uh, okay. Vampire becomes immortal again if the devil's purged from the body. Okay. I wonder where that fairy went. Uh, da -na 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 -na. Okay, well, we're done here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use Taya or Screech. I'm really thinking about it hard right now. As much as I would love to use Screech, uh, using him will for sure cause this no-death playthrough to be ruined. 
So I don't think we're gonna use him. Uh, let's see. There is a couple items we gotta put away. Okay, let's see. Power water, yep. Uh, protect milk, and we gotta put away the mithril as well. There's gonna be a couple things we'll sell when we get back to the town. Okay, um... I guess we'll bring Taya with us. Yeah. And instead of... We're gonna get rid of... Higgins. Yep. And we are gonna give Taya Luke's protect ring. Luke no longer needs it. Actually, I should keep that on Luke. Yeah, you know what I am. Luke needs that. For the role I want to use Luke in. I don't know. Maybe I won't use Taya. I'll think about it on my trip back to Pakalon. If I'm going to use Taya or not. Uh, let's see. You are very weak. You have low health, low defense. Um, I'm trying to think what the layout of the next battle is. You know what? We are gonna bring Taya. Just be very careful that she doesn't get attacked, that's all. Okay, so we can see that it rained now. We welcome you. We're very happy because it rained. Uh, yeah, so they're all happy and shit, but we're gonna head to the store. Where there may be new weapons. No, there's not. There's not. Okay. Um, in that case, we're gonna sell some of this shit I don't need. Uh, Javelin, you do need that. Let's sell Rick's Chrome Lance. Whatever, we don't want it. Uh, da -da -da. This Great Axe, we don't need it. Javelin. Keep all that for Chester and get rid of Bowie's greatsword. Okay. The critical sword is actually a mithril weapon. It's the first one we get in the game. Geshep is always staring at the castle. That's because he wants Freya, who has the key to unlocking the Gate of Moon. And thanks to the rain, these guys are uh, real, real happy now. Devils ran away when they saw your soldiers. Practice. Who needs practice? Okay, Alan Iverson. Whatever you say. Okay, so let's go see Freya. It is time to go rescue the people of Moon. Soon as he opens the gate. Well, that's why we're gonna be there to fucking kill them all. We abandon the people living there. That's all you've got to say? Fuck you, king. Least you could do is send your daughter, who is not there anymore. Okay. Whatever. Alright, what's up, Freya? Yes, Salvard's dead. We're trustworthy. Would you do me a favor? Please go to Moon with me. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go kill some devils. Okay. So now, let's head back into town, where I'm sure nothing is waiting for us. Psych, it's Geshep. 
Finally, you've left the castle, Freya. Gishup, what's up, bro? Yeah, we remember you, cocksucker. So for some reason, Geshup did not want to attack the castle. I guess he actually thought the Pakalon warriors were kind of tough after all. You locked the gate of moon, yes. My faithful soldiers can't enter. Freya, run! Oh my gosh, a little bit of fire. That's only blocking that one portion. You could run around it. Camellia! We met her in Pan Goat Valley. We never heard anyone call it Pan Goat Valley before just then. Camellia's like, what's up? Yeah, Geshep's a cocksucker. Get the key. So they're fighting. Uh, greater devils hate each other, I guess. Whatever. I hate you. I won't help you. You can use my army. See you later. They're divided. Now, here's something interesting. I don't need your help, Camellia. Come on, devils. Kill boy now. Okay, so... He brings out a bunch of devils. And then he just fucking leaves! Bye, Bowie! It's like, you're not staying? You realize we're just gonna crush your little fucking assholes here, right? I'm good at using my brains, not my strength. That's why I'm gonna just pretend like these devils are gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, Geshup's gonna return, and we're just not gonna be here. And he's just gonna be like, what the fuck? Yo, I totally thought I left my boys here. Too bad. Um, okay, so this is a huge, huge battlefield. Uh, and there is a lot of enemies. Uh, I'm gonna send, like, Peter to come kill them. And then there- we are just gonna have an absolute free-for-all in the middle here. I don't understand why the fuck there's a Dark Bishop in this battle. Whatever. Uh, Necromancer, Freeze 3, that's- we're not playing around anymore. That's not good. And here's the boss, this Devil Soldier. 84 attack. And he can use boost too as well. That is a little frightening, actually. Uh, we're gonna be fine though. Wait, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, on we go. Gotta be careful of Taya. She will get absolutely curb stomped if I'm not careful. Uh, Peter, and I believe I will send Kiwi to the right side also. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to send anyone. Peter by himself will be more than enough. Um, here's what we are going to do, though, is we're going to throw down a boost, too. Right there. After this, I'm going to make sure Karna boosts Taya. I can't be too careful with Taya. I don't want her dying. I don't want anything bad happening to her at all. Alright. 35 experience. Nice. Uh, May, Yes, you're extremely low defense, May. Uh... Yeah, Kiwi will go that way. Because Kiwi has such high movement that he will be able to catch back up with us by the time we're <clears throat> really getting into it. Going for Elric, huh? Yep, yeah, but unfortunately Elric just received his boost, so... That's not really going to do a goddamn thing, is it? Freeze level 2, that's, uh, that's unfortunate, actually. Uh, Taya, you are very slow. Wow. Okay. Enemies, so there's a lot of jerking off right now. They're not really getting closer, not really doing anything. Um, Jaha, let's begin the assault. 38, very good. Uh, 
Bowie. Yes, definitely come over here and attack this guy. With your brand new critical sword, baby. Uh, Luke, let's take this guy out. Very good, Luke. Oh, health by two, defense by two. I love it. Uh, Gerholt. We will attack the Harpy Queen. Holy shit, down to one. And she countered, didn't do jack shit. Uh, Slade will not go for that kill. Have him stand right there. Uh, Kazen, we will let Kazen get this kill. Kazen is definitely gonna be my sorcerer. It will not be bitch-ass Taya. Taya's just keeping that spot warm. That's all she's doing. Uh, Elric can go right here and kill the Orc Lord. Actually, our force is about to get a lot different. Damn it, Elric, no attack again. Because once we get Creed's people, uh, they are all gonna be joining us. Like, uh, hmm. Uh, yeah, let's see. As soon as we can go back to Creed's mansion, for sure, um, Tyron will be using him. His magic is extremely powerful. Uh, that will allow us to use one of the three, uh, centaurs between Chester, Eric, and Rick. And I may even use Randolph, too. Or even more than just one of the centaurs. Wow, Peter, holy shit. He just got 50 experience, too. You barely ever see that. That necromancer. Gotta be careful of him. Here comes that Harpy Queen. I think I'll send uh, Gerhal over there to head him off. Alright, sick one point of damage there, bro. And they love going for Elric. But Elric has boost, so it's not gonna do fucking jack shit to him. Uh, yeah, Gerholt will go right there. Jaha can start attacking this fucker. Wow, Jaha has gotten so fucking powerful, man. He really has. 41 experience. Good shit, Luke. Uh, ooh, nice. Kazen will get another kill. I just realized I'm conserving MP, but it's not like I really need to. Kazen has a ridiculous amount of magic. Um, Elric, can you even get in range? No, you cannot. Uh, we're gonna send Peter down this way. And Karna, we will heal, uh, Slave. I'm thinking, why not, right? No reason to take a chance here. And Kiwi will focus on this Dark Knight. There it is. Okay, cool. May can take this guy out. And you're dead, bitch. 36 damage. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Necromancer. That's not good. Freeze level 3. Ah, shit, bro. Eh, it's only doing 19. That's That could be way worse. That's not that bad, actually. 
And another free spell. Uh-oh. So Slade and Karna, they just got real cold all of a sudden. I'm not overly concerned, though. Uh, Taya. Yeah, Taya needs to be careful. Oh, he got a crit and it did one. That's hilarious. Wow, this is pathetic. You you devils, you guys really fucking suck. I mean, look at this shit. Dark Bishop, that's hilarious. Dark Bishop. Uh, Gerholt. We'll go for the Necromance. Nah, you're gonna go for the Harpy Queen. So close. Wow, girl, it's level 13 now? Damn. Uh, Luke will attack this fuckboy right here. Jaha, 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 Jaha. Let's go attack the Necromancer. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you, bro. And Bowie. I'm gonna have him throw down this uh, sick, nasty bolt from right here. Got a crit and killed him. I actually didn't want to kill him, though. I wanted to save him for Taya or May or Elric, but whatever. Actually, looks like Kazen's gonna get the kill. Neptune it is, brother. I fucking love Neptune so much. Later! And Peter, isn't there a Harpy Queen, like, right there? Yeah. And Slade will kill this bitch. I should have used Katan, because that way there would have been no chance of it missing. Although it's not like someone would die if it missed anyway, but... You know, just gotta play the odds and shit. Elric can go right there. That was actually kind of dangerous, but whatever. And you're dead. Or it is right here on you three. Very good, very good. Uh, I'm actually gonna call it here. Uh, we made some pretty good progress. We did most of this fight. Uh, there's just these four cocksuckers left. I'll see you guys next time. We're gonna finish this battle and then head up to Moon. Later!